Here's another bit of news for you that um, I found that I have some uh, questions about. I have some questions about this. I don't know if you can answer them. I don't know if anybody can. Probably if anybody could, the problem would be solved by now, but, um, uh, so I guess not. But anyway, this is from CNN. This university is arming students and faculty with hockey pucks in case of a shooting. They're hoping it will never happen, but if a shooter shows up on their campus, students and professors at University of Michigan may be throwing hockey pucks. They have enough mass to cause injury, small enough to be thrown, are portable, and they're not considered a weapon. Oakland University Police Chief Mark Gordon told CNN. Police and faculty at the, at the school in suburban Detroit came up with the idea after a presentation on emergency preparedness. Oakland University already practices the run, hide, fight, run hide, fight strategy. I'll, I'll read up on that. I don't know what that is. But Gordon said one question that came up was what students and professors should fight with. What they needed, he said, was an improvised weapon. The police chief, police chief heard all kinds of suggestions on what might be available in a classroom, including chairs, backpacks, staplers, anything that has weight and would cause in, injury if you were to throw it. Um, having some sort of defense in a shooter situation, Gordon said, would dramatically increase survival. We wanted to have, oh, we wanted to, we wanted to have a door lock that would be easily locked from the inside. Senna said, most doors now can be locked in, uh, externally using a key. Both pucks and the locks are part of the university initiative to boost preparedness in case of an emergency situation on campus. The bigger picture is preparing us and having a plan in the classroom, Chief Gordon said. The hockey puck is nothing more than an improvised weapon, so people know what to do. Uh, there's no time to talk about a plan when you find yourself in that situation. Uh, now, I... I <laughs> I got, I got to laugh at this a little bit because we got, we have, you know, we've had school shootings. Uh, they've, they've been increasing in media attention, the school shootings lately. So a lot of people are having discussions about school shootings, what we should do about them, how we can solve this. Um, of course, the go-to idea for many people is we'll just take all the guns away, uh, which does not work, will never work, cannot work. If uh, somebody who wants to go on a rampage Wants to get a gun, they'll get a gun. There's no way for them to not be able to get a gun. They'll get one. Um, that's just not, um, that's not a plausible situation. And uh, not only that, but it's against the Constitution. Um, but I love how in here they, they, um, they said, we wanted to have a door lock that would easily be locked from the inside. Most doors. So I, that, <laughs> it's like, well, we're giving them hockey pucks. They can throw hockey pucks. Some guy comes in, and he's got, you know, an AK-47. He's pumping round after round into kids, killing them. Um, we're going to throw hockey pucks at him because this person obviously, uh, they don't, I guess, understand that a person who's doing this probably does not expect to live. They're probably going in there. They're probably going to shoot up a school as much as they can and either get shot by the police or shoot themselves. They are not in a situation, they're not in a mindset where they're going to get a hockey puck thrown at them and go, oh, I guess they don't want me doing this and run away. That's not going to fucking happen. Throwing hockey pucks at a guy with an AK-47 is just going to get your ass shot. So that's just dumb. But I love how they, they, were, they were like, we were thinking about being able to lock the doors. But nah, hockey pucks, hockey pucks, hockey pucks instead. That's what we need. They're locking the doors? Nah. Lo hockey puck. Why is that? Why is locking the door such a bad idea? I mean, if you think about it, if you wanted my idea for a solution that could help, um, we have this in our prisons. Of course, I don't want our schools to be like prisons. In fact, I wish they were le less like prisons. But we have this in prison systems all over the place. Somebody on a floor goes ah, and hits a button and it's locked down. All of the, the cells go kerchunk and they're locked down and nobody can get in or out. Why can't we do that in schools? You're in there, you're in a classroom in the middle of the day. Some guy walks in with an AK-47, obviously intended on shooting people, hit a button, and punk. Everything locks down. You're in a classroom. You can't get out. He can't get in. The police come and arrest him. Wouldn't, isn't that a better idea 
then let's take all the guns away. That the let's take all the guns away narrative is is it's a nothing burger. It's it's so useless. It doesn't mean anything. It's not even trying to attempt to solve the problem. Uh, it's not even trying to attempt to engage in a discussion that could actually help solve this problem. What needs to happen is we need to start thinking in creative ways. We need to start thinking in ways that are um, more direct to the problem. You know, it, it, anybody, if somebody wants to kill someone, remember Sandy Hook? Uh, when that guy, tr uh, you, you know, trounced through that, that grade school and shot up, like, I think it was 21 children? Killed 21 children. Tragic, horrible. Well, that news, it was big news. So it kind of buried another story on that same day that came from China where a very similar situation happened and a man went into a, uh, a grade school and stabbed 22 children with a knife. So it's not guns. Guns are not the issue here. If somebody gets crazy and wants to go into a school and shoot it to bits or kill people, they're going to find a way to do it. It doesn't matter if they, if they don't have a gun, they'll use a knife. If they don't have a, a knife, they'll build a bomb and put it in their car and wreck it into the damn place and blow it up. They'll find a way to do it. So it's not guns. Let's get over that, you know, thing where it just take all the way to guns. No, that's, that's, that's horse shit. You're, you're blowing smoke up everybody's asses. Let's try and be creative here. And I personally think that one of the things that we need to do is we need to go to the root of the problem and find out why people want to kill, kill other people in the first place. That is, that is, I think, key to the point of this. Why people want to go out and shoot up a school in the first place. Why? There are pl guns have nothing to do with this, and, and I, can, I can show you the stats on this. America's about in the middle as far as gun violence is. Uh, but we have far more guns than many other countries do. There are countries out there that have far more gun violence than we do and far less guns than we do. So it's not, it's not a matter of, it's a matter of mentality. It's a matter of culture. Why are we in a culture where it's, well, it's not okay. It's never been okay. Why are we in a culture where people want to go and gun other people down? Why is that a thing? We need to, we need to discover that. We need to study that. And find out what that is. Because then I, I, I have a feeling that that would really reduce the amount of crazy people. Because we know why they went crazy. And we know how to make sure they didn't go crazy anymore. For that same reason. And that I think would make a really big dent. In not just school violence. But all kinds of violence. Uh, that's, the, that's the place we need to start. And that and it's just simple ideas like locking the door. But hockey pucks? <laughs> No, I, I really, hockey pucks should stay on, uh, on the ice. That's where they, that's where they belong. 